I may have something for you. Hello my friends, my name is Ron Farrell, I'm your host for Warcraft 3 News. First episode today, that's amazing. Today we have a match between Sight and Death Note, casted by Todd. You all know Todd, and what's happening here in this game is really, really cringy. Um, an observer started talking trash about, you can see it's starting now, started talking trash about Todd, about Grovy's family. I'm not gonna leave in the horrible stuff he said about different people, just gonna leave in the, uh, the comedy. Todd took it well. Uh, this got extremely annoying during this show match. And Todd ended up saying this to explain. Before everybody asks, why don't you ignore it? Why don't you do DND? DND doesn't work against this. I would have to manually ignore the guy. So, as you can understand, there's nothing you can do about it. But Todd ended up saying that. Yeah, he kept doing this, by the way, uh, just promoting Ina Elite stream. A streamer with not a lot of views. We'll get into street to Ina Elite in a while, in a bit in this episode. We're only, have to, we're only gonna have to go through this for one single game, guys. But Todd was wrong. Completely out of his control. But he didn't expect the players after the match, Side and Death Note, to uh, allow fake knickers into the match um, as observers. Very hard to control, but still. Uh, this is fake in Super Bowl, uh, who was the same guy from game two here in game four. So it kept going and going on. Gotta hand it to Todd, though, for being such a champ. He handled it really well. Uh, a lot of people would have maybe quit. He just sat there and uh, he casted the match really well. It was a very enjoyable set of uh, matches between Side and Death Note. Uh, Side eventually won the match. What is going on this game? So, over to Ina Elite. I pulled up his information on EU Battle.net here. Um, a strange guy, uh, gotta say, very talented player, high ranking on NetEase and. Uh, as you can see uh, in solo games here on Battle.net, but very strange to specify you are heterosexual uh, in additional information as well as saying big tail alpha male and stuff like that. Um, but nonetheless, very talented, uh, entertaining streamer. Um, he might have a bit of a toxic fan group. We just got the evidence that at least one fan is uh, extremely toxic. I guess that is a part of uh, his game. Uh, anyway, uh, he impersonated one of the highest ranking undeads yesterday, uh, Nighten. Let's see him impersonating Nighten. Hello, I am from Romania. I am Nighten. Uh, one year ago, I have been beaten all day by Ina1337. His Farseer and TC is too strong because Orc is so weak and Ina is so strong. But now that I learned my race properly, I just abuse it and I Nova Coil and I feel very good about it, but I still am a very unrelevant player in this scene. Even though I messed around 40,000 games in one year and now I am top one, but yeah. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I have tons of clips from high profile both streamers and top ranking players on NetEase and EU Ladder that I'm working on for more videos for you guys. Not only is this interesting to watch right now as it occurs, but it will be even more relevant once Reforged hits. And these players, with their amazing hand-to-eye coordination and skill, aren't just playing for ranks no more, but for prize pools and international fame. Maybe the players are already now aware of what's coming, and that itself is the reason why the Warcraft 3 community is particularly malignant. Regardless, I will keep you up to date on the news, so join me in looking at sick plays and even sicker behavior in the uncanny pro scene of the greatest game of all time, Warcraft 3.